So before we travel into Listen Drill, turns out there is another journal right here that I missed. Someone was nice enough to point it out, so I wanted to make sure I grabbed it and read it. I really like that the mod author doesn't make the journals too long. It's really nice to me that it keeps it clear and concise and it's not rambling. We have arrived at the ruins. By the gods, this place radiates with power. I've never felt anything like it. The people were right to warn me. The guardians of the ruins still stand. They seem to be stuck in a trance, believing that they must still protect the place from intruders. It must have been like this for ages, since the days of the war between the Iliad and the Sonmer. We managed to overcome them, but have lost a few of the team. A shame, but I will not abandon centuries of work just because of a few trapped ghosts. I sent a few back as well to cover our backs. The rest are still with me. Despite what has happened, they understand the risks and are ready to enter the ruins. We will continue and see what awaits us within. That's the thing. If you're a mercenary, you know that you might not come back. You know that every job you take has a chance to be your last. You are not welcome here. I know. I'm not welcome most places. I get that from my parents a lot. Ooh, what is this we have? Oh, damn it, it's not anything I can take. I saw these and I thought it was going to be some sort of crafting material or something. I got excited. That'll show me. Oh, there's a researcher. Yeah, I'm going to try and make sure that I grab all the journals. I'm going to keep an eye out now that I know that there's more than one journal. Who dares disturb my rest? Well, I'm sorry. I know you thought you were going to get some more rest now that you <laughs> killed everyone in here, but... What can I say? I'm here to ruin your day. Because it turns out the researchers didn't kill a single ghost. Well, they might have. They just didn't kill all of them. They didn't kill enough of them, enough of them to make a difference. Do I need any of that stuff? Not really, no. Ooh, I sell someone among the dead. No, dead. nobody here. Definitely not. I really love that we're at the point where we do have a fair amount of mods that make use of alien architecture and structures in Skyrim. The fact that these assets have been made readily available for mod authors, I just... I love that. It really just goes to show that we have a really strong modding community that allows for tile sets such as this to be shared and used by different mod authors. It allows for almost a little bit more of a standardization. It means that, okay, we know that the Aeliad mods or mods that use Aeliad ruins are largely going to look the same. Which is nice if you're using multiple mods with Aeliad Ruins, because then it means all those Aeliad Ruins are going to share the same design and architecture. It makes it a little bit more consistent, it makes it a little bit more immersive for your own playthroughs. But man, every time I look at an Aeliad Ruin in a mod, my first thought is... Well, it's about uh, Beyond Skyrim, because of beyond Skyrim Bruma, and it just makes me think, man, I really want... Well, not just beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil. I want all the beyond Skyrim mods. Like, I can't wait. Comes for you now. <laughs> oh, hi there. Yeah, go figure the... the mercenary didn't have a journal, but... Oh, journal four? That means I missed one. Ah. All right. I'm going to leave that journal there because I want to read them in order. Let me see if I can find journal three then. Oh, I'm going to make sure I look around and find all the journals. Dumbass George. All right, I found it. We've lost more of the team. The ruin is more deadly than I ever imagined, but it doesn't matter. They knew what they signed on for. Hey, that's what I said. I'll get to the end of my... 
Uh, I'll get to the end on my own if I have to. Luckily, the survivors are still willing. The mercenaries don't like it, but in the end, if there's less of them left, that means more gold for each. They're smart enough to know to stick around. These journals are a good way to gather my thoughts. I've decided to leave each behind, though. I can pick them up on the way out, and it stops my team from reading them when they think I'm not looking. We'll continue through. The ghosts must subside eventually. That is something I've always thought thought about with um, journals. And it's not just exclusive to mods. It happens even in the vanilla game of, ah, this person left five journals laying around. Not individual pages. They just had five journals. And they wrote two pages in the journals. Like, it's wasteful. People in Skyrim are wasteful. Imagine if you bought five journals, wrote in two pages of them, and said, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's all I need to use this journal for. Traitors. Those fools left when we were defending themselves. Oh, when we were defending ourselves. What cowards. I hope the ghosts slaughtered them on their way out. The loyal members are still with me. A much smaller team than we set out with. But it doesn't matter. I will accomplish my goal if it costs the lives of everyone here. I must reach the end of the ruins. That's the only place where my plan will work. A shame we've had to banish so many of the ghosts, but I'm sure we can figure out a way around it. The power of this place should be enough to aid me. You know, I'm not sure how much I like the, um, the researcher. I'm not sure if I'm really a fan of him. Like, I get it. Yes, they're mercenaries, and when they take a job, they know that they could die. They can know it could be their last, but his disregard for them makes him not the best employer. Does he need to have regard for them? Not necessarily, but, you know. Come on, these are people we're talking about. See, I'm just checking every nook and cranny. I want to make sure I don't miss any journals. What if he just had ten by the end of this, and once again, it's like, oh man, you just wasted a lot, a lot of paper. The fact that all these ghosts are still here, I'm wondering if he even made it through. I'm wondering if he is still alive. Am I going to find a living researcher, or am I going to find a dead researcher? Our numbers are dwindling by the hour. Some even dare to question my motives, but we cannot stop. These fools don't seem to understand that. I'm making progress with the ghost. Nobody has noticed yet, but I can feel them getting uneasy. No matter, it won't be long now. By the time they realize it, It'll be too late. Yeah, see, I'm trusting this guy less and less. I'm really not, uh, liking him right now. Oh, that's a lot of ghosts down there. Yep, okay, they're all coming for me now. They are not happy to see me. Oh, I see a lever down there. Damn it, I thought that ghost was gonna keep walking. I see a lever, but I don't know if I should be going down there just yet. Nothing, nothing. Because are there staircases? Yeah, there are. Oh! Mortal Whoa! Tell hi there! No no. the oh, hello! No. Well then. Oh, well, like, ah, yes, there's staircases. They probably lead up here. And as soon as I turn around, Eternal the ghost summer. is just right on my ass. Oh, spooky, spooky ghosts, what can I say? What I will say is I think that this section of the mod is really interesting because up until now, I feel like everything else we've seen in Mid uh, uh, Midwood Isle really has been, like, mostly vanilla stuff. Mostly vanilla buildings, textures, structures, meshes and models. So if anything, this really stands out a lot more than those other, or not other areas, but just the rest of the mod in general. But 
But it's funny because I've just, you know, been taking notes. I've been writing down uh, thoughts about the mod. And one of the thoughts that I had about it was that Midwood Isle really shows how beautiful a mod can be, even just using largely vanilla stuff, vanilla buildings, vanilla structures, models, textures, so on and so forth. But now we're getting into the more custom stuff. Alright, so there's the second lever. Let's pull that. It's a mercenary. I thought that little block right there was going to be a journal. I got excited. Just double checking. Well, we just read Journal 5, so... As long as I don't see Journal 7 next, I won't have missed any, so we'll see. And... I thought I saw a ghost down there. They might be hiding. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw a ghost at the end of the hallway. I think they just are on patrol, so they're just not waiting around. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I always feel bad. I always just cut them off. They're trying to taunt me. They're trying to be threatening and menacing, and here I am just shooting them in the face. I mean, all the researchers certainly feared you, all the mercenaries certainly feared you, me not so much. Honestly, they just needed to hire better mercenaries. They should have waited till I came to Midwood Isle. Then they would have been fine, then they would have been safe. Which I always like, um, expedition type quests anyway, where... I'm part of an expedition team. It's not super common. Just in terms of a uh, quest structure, but I always like when you do get that. Journal 6. Alright, I didn't miss any. The fools! One of my team caught me, they turned on me, and I had no option but to slaughter those that didn't run. I've made great progress with the ghosts here. I can now control them, so they do my bidding. A shame it was revealed too early, but I must continue on. The ghosts no longer attack me, so it should be easy for me to reach what I need. I will continue my work undisturbed. If I can figure out a way to not only control, but to raise the ghosts, I will be unstoppable. Those fools in Florin, whoever doubted me, will bow before me and my army. All that remains is for me to reach the end. Told you I didn't like him. I told you. Like, assuming that he's still controlling the ghosts, he's the reason I have to fight all of them now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, okay, I didn't even see you there. You know, I kind of miss the old Morwen and Oblivion style ghosts where. It wasn't just, you know, a person, a blue, shimmery person. It was the more traditional Wraith-style ghost, where they don't have legs, and they're floating, and they've got the big, billowy cloak. Like, I kind of miss that. Having the blue, shimmery people is definitely better for when you're speaking to a ghost. Like, if you're speaking to a named ghost, and it's, like, the ghost of someone, it's better to convey, you know, who that person is. But for enemies, I kind of like the whole, um, the billowy, ghosty ghosts. Or, you know, I would like to have both. I'd like to have both, and just have that option. Would you even be able to set a ghost on fire? I'm thinking about that right now. Like, it's magic, so I feel like that... 
makes it make a little bit more sense. Like I'm shouting at them with magic derived from dragons who can bend time and space. So it's a little bit more fitting in that case. Dead researcher. I keep on taking all these potions that I absolutely don't need. That I'm absolutely not going to use at all. Death comes for you. It would be cool if ghosts could, um... Oh, there, 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 there. Mm, my throat. It'd be cool if ghosts could, you know, walk out from walls. Like, if they could phase through walls and surprise attack you that way. Man, so many of these researchers still kept following him, even after they learned he was up to these hijinks with the ghosts. You stuck there? You okay? The end of sleep comes for us all. Is that so? <laughs> You're still stuck, huh? I'm just taunting you at this point. Like, I'm really just taunting you with this. Anybody? I mean, there's plenty of ghosts. I keep on saying anybody because I'm looking for one living person, but no. I'm not that lucky. Who dares disturb my rest? Man, ghosts need to get some new lines. I've heard the same five ghost lines over and over again. I guess it's because ghosts aren't that common of an enemy. They're not as common as Draugr's, so, you know, they just no. have those I same lines. I you ruin centuries of preparations! Ooh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. What is he trying to do? Finish them! Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Came back as a shade. Wait, come on. Let's finish up his ghosts. Your master's dead. You're free. Leave me alone. You're free. Go about your business. You don't need to kill me. I am not foe. I am friend. Except I've killed all the other ghosts so far, so... I guess why stop now? You can never truly stop me. Kills the ghost. Ooh. Oh, and I get his armor. Magic and stamina by 15 per piece of Talani's armor worn. See, I like the set pieces. I like set items. Increases armor by 100% when wearing a full set of his armor. Prices are 15% better. Jesus. So even though it's a light armor set, the boost you get from wearing the full set, that's crazy. That's good. I might even use that. Because what is my armor rating? Oh, never mind. My armor rating is 484. So, um... Well, it's good for a light armor set. That's the thing. For light armor, it's real damn good. So, is there some sort of unique treasure here, or... No. Okay, not necessarily. Or at least not that I've seen yet. The real treasure is the friends we made, and the ghosts we killed along the way. Also his sweet-ass armor, so... 
If that's my reward for this, I'll take it. Alright. And someone also said there was another... Alien ruin somewhere on the island? So I guess we'll go around, we'll explore... This little northern island up here and see if we can find anything. Although I'm really only seeing that one other marker on my compass, so I guess we'll see. Pure spring waters discovered. Uh oh. Oh, we got a lot of enemies. Spriggins, please. I don't want to hurt you. I didn't come here to hurt you. I'm just exploring. I'm just going about my business. Alright. Oh, let's heal up a little bit. You would think fire would be a little bit more effective against a creature made of wood. One would imagine. Oh, this poor Sonmer just died trying to get this treasure. Well, you know what? I'll preserve your memory by taking the treasure for myself. Is that everything here, though? It seems like it. I wasn't sure if there was going to be like a little cave to go inside or something. Is it just more deers hanging around? Oh, just deers and foxes and all of that. Think you can run from me? I don't think so. Alright, let me take another quick look around the island, but I have a feeling that might be it for this mini island here. But there might be some locations back on the main island itself that I still need to explore and check out. Alright, we're back on the main island, and... I see another ruin off in the distance, or at least I see it on my compass. So the question is, is that going to be an alien ruin or a Dwemer ruin? I feel like it could go either way, since we have had... Dwemer ruins already? Nope! Another alien ruin. See, I don't know if this ruin was already here in the original version of the mod, or if it was added more recently. I feel like this one's going to be really submerged. This one's going to be practically underwater. It's going to be flooded. Are you discovered? Are you ready to explore this ruin? Now, the only thing is I don't know if there is a quest tied to this, if I had to go somewhere else to get a quest for this. So maybe I'll just double check with innkeeps, with uh, the counselors, with the king, just to double check. Just to be safe. Yeah, it's not locked, so... That could very well mean that I can just go in whenever I want. It could mean that there is a quest, but they're not going to restrict my access to it regardless of the quest. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk to people first. I'm going to see if I can find anything. If not, we'll be back. Welcome to the Drunken Archer. Let me know if you want anything. You're still alive. I guess that means you haven't faced Zachary. Oh, yet. yes. Um, how can I help? Probably unrelated. But we found someone in Alverton who has a, uh... Well, has something to say. You seem a bit distracted. What is it? You're an adventurer, right? I was wondering if you could help me with a personal matter. I'll make it worth your time. Sure. What is it you need? Well, it's about Dangoth, my father. The thing is, I don't think he's actually my father. Ooh. Whenever I ask about my mother, he doesn't really answer and gets very uncomfortable, as if he's hiding something. He's your mother. All he ever seems to say is that she died whilst giving birth. But I'd really like to know more. What's strange is that everyone claims that Dangoth never had a wife, and that they never remember me being born. 
I'd like you to search the inn for some information about who my mother actually was. Wait. The inn that we're standing in? Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Have a look around here and see what you can find. You could always try talking to Dan Goth, but he might not say anything. What would Let I me know find? As soon as you found something. Like, uh, short of talking to him, what would I find in the inn that you couldn't have found on your own? That's all I'm saying. Thank you once again for taking care of the werewolves. People aren't afraid to leave their houses after dark anymore. Greetings, friend. Welcome to the Drunken Archer. Mm, you might not call me a friend after this. I want to speak to you about Faldir. Of, of course. What is it? You sound a little, a little bit like Bob from Bob's Burgers. Tell me the truth. Who are his real parents? What are you talking about? I'm... I'm his true father. You see... The fact that you pause and say the word true, not birth, it's like, alright, what's going on here? Please be honest, Faldir deserves to know the truth. I, I guess you're right. Look, there's an old diary I kept ever since it began. It's hidden under my bed. Why? It can explain things better than I ever could. Oh, okay. And why I chose to hide the truth from him. Please, I really am sorry. Okay, that's fine. I was about to say, it's like, why not just tell me? And he's like, oh, I'm better at writing than I'm at talking. It's like, okay, I understand. A very strange thing happened today. I was making one of my weekly trips to the Shrine of Erkaloth for prayers, when I stumbled upon something, or should I say, someone, I never expected. There was a baby wrapped in cloth at the base of the shrine. There was no note or a sign of a mother. The baby was fast asleep and peaceful, so I waited to see if anyone would come to claim him. Nobody came, and it was getting dark. I decided to take the baby back to the inn and look after him until someone came into town looking for him. I'm sure it won't be long. Still no sign of anyone, and it's been two days. Between running the inn and caring for the baby, I don't have much time, so it is difficult to stop and add to the journal. But he seems to like me. It'll be a shame when his mother comes to collect him. Still nobody. It's difficult to care for the baby without having a name for him. So, for the time being, I've decided to call him Faldir, after my father. It is also becoming more possible that the parents of Faldir may never come to find him. It's been over three weeks, and Faldir's parents still haven't shown. I don't think they ever will. It seems to me that this child is now under my protection. I strongly believe it is the will of Ergloth that brought me to him. Without that, he'd surely have been picked off by wolves. Fortunately, he's at the age where he won't remember his real parents. I won't tell him the truth until he is old enough. He looks so innocent laying there now. I cannot give that burden... Uh, I cannot give him that burden at too young of an age. Alright, that was the last page. He made it sound like it was way worse. He made it sound like it was way more ominous. I thought he was going to say, Oh, I killed his parents and then took him as my own. Like, you made that very dramatic, sir. Like, unnecessarily so. Let me know if you managed to find anything. I found this diary hidden under Dangoth's bed. Great work. Let me have a read. Ah, this says he found me by the shrine. So he doesn't know who my mother is. Thank you, my friend. I... I'm surprised, but finally knowing the truth is a huge relief. Here, take this for your trouble. And thank you. Nope. Oh, that woman just came out of nowhere. Need something? All right, we're gonna do another round of trying to find anyone who has quests for us. Oh, did you need something? If not, we'll head back to the Iliad ruin. Until what do you next need, time. Handsome. Ooh, hi. 